Aw oh, yeah, Rivers here from Some Cool Tech, and today I'm here with a new media player called the Majika ATV1810. I'm going to show you how you can watch live full HD TV on this player and maybe other players too, so keep watching here on Some Cool Tech. So first let's take a look at some of the hardware that comes on the box itself. It's got an AM Logic S802 CPU, it's got HDMI that can output up to 4K, 8 gigs of flash memory, and Android 4.4.2. On the outside, it's got four USB ports that are going to be really useful for adding accessories, and it's got a full-size SD card slot good on cards up to 128 gigs. On the back, it's got HDMI out, which goes up to 4K, and HDMI in, which allows you to bring a signal in from, say, a cable box or a gaming system and watch TV on there. The key to success will be how well Majika supports this hardware with its software. Right now it's just an HDMI pass through so you can watch your satellite box or other media system on the desktop of the 1810. However, my source at Majika tells me that the future versions of this software will be able to record through this port. I'll add a note in the description down below once that option is available. Here you can see a Windows PC as the input and then playing a video on the desktop of the Android player. Now let's take a look at how to get live over the air full HD TV to your Android media player. I use this Majika ATSC to USB TV tuner. You simply plug the USB port into a free USB port on your media player and the other end into a good antenna. I use this ultra thin flat mount indoor antenna. I love this antenna because I just mount it on the wall in the room behind my TV and it gets really good reception. With this antenna I'm able to get over 30 channels and at least 5 HD channels. The software I've been using is called Pad TV HD. Here you can see how it looks and functions. You can see that I can receive tons of free over the air channels, but I can't show you live TV because of copyright issues. It lets you watch and record standard definition and HD TV, and the videos look great. Some of the files that are recorded. So it saves them to the main memory, and there's no option to save them to the SD card right now, but hopefully they can fix that in an update. So I've got three files here. For a full HD video, it takes about 100 megs a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over to my 64 gig SD card. Now there's no DVR functionality available in the software right now, but I think it's just a matter of time before it does become available because the TV function works really well on here. I wish I could show you the TV playback on here because it looks really good, but everything on TV is copyrighted material, so you'll just have to trust me, it looks great. Almost as good as Blu-ray, at least if you have a good antenna, that is. I even tested the tuner on another Android media player and it seemed to work pretty good, but not quite as smoothly as that on the Majika. And remember, this box and the tuner are not quite to the market yet at the time of making this video, but as soon as they are available, I'll put a link to them in the description down below, so check that out as soon as you get done with this video. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, be sure and hit that subscribe button, that way you'll see my latest videos as soon as they come out. I'll put a link to all the hardware and software you saw in the videos in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.